Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. And thank you for everyone who tossed in a vote or two for me to ensure that uh, I was judged the morning show host of the year. I'm most grateful for all, for all that. And uh, quick information coming in is the fact that there's heavy traffic presently on the Pokwasi Amasaman Road because uh, a 40 foot container. Uh, or trailer uh, is falling off uh, or they've collided, whichever way to speak. This information we're getting from off the streets and we understand that there's heavy traffic there. So there's a decoy towards the Achimota end or the uh, Kwabinya Dome end and we're calling on the MTTD to move speedily there and ensure or that people have to go to work. They have to report to be productive. And so we encourage you to, to go out there, MTTD. We know that you can do this, so please do it and help us. And also, happy birthday to you, Mr. Peter Akwe. We call you Chairman General at St. Joseph the Work Anglican Church. It's your birthday today. You're 69. And uh, we wish you long life and prosperity. You're an ardent viewer of this platform, and we love you. But my guest this morning, uh, to, to do the talk, we'll introduce them quickly. Uh, but let's look at the front page stories. The Daily, Daily Guide says, a Kufado cut sword for Kwabeng Abomoso roads. And Veep warns soldiers over social media. MPP slams Mahama over fake militia. Let's sweep 47 Ashanti seats, Nana says. The Ghanaian Times. FMC hails government for withdrawing CSE. President begins Eastern Region tour, inspects road. President fumes at contractors' hints of termination of contracts for non-performance and government to resolve to tax grievances this week. Comes with a photo of Professor Yanka, who is uh, the uh, Deputy Minister for Education. The Daily Graphic, Ghana faces safety security risk in abundance of uh, uh, standards challenges due to underfunding. Abolish debt penalty. Amnesty International is appealing to government. Help unravel course of former UN Secretary General's death. And BNFT. Expand compulsory insurance scope. Holart uh, CEO says will reform tax systems to free Africa of debt and Ghana others targeted by US lobby for international bank cards. The Find That Newspaper, which is the final one, says free SHS 1D1F game changes. Posterity will applaud a Kufuado Kumu Omahene says so. Telco's order to stop upfront CST deductions and Muslim community calls for an end to discrimination against hijab. A review free SHS within 90 days in office, says candidate Bahama of the NDC. My guest this morning, the Member of Parliament for the Ifutu constituency, the Honorable Alexander Kwabna Afenyomaki, is also a legal practitioner. Counsel, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, lawyer Sami Jane Fee speaks for the NDC. Here's the mouthpiece, the National Communications Officer. So, yes, Sam, good morning. How are you morning, doing, sir. Council? Everything yeah. fine? We manage it. Yeah. Great. Let me start with you, Afenyo, on, on this particular one. I saw something on uh, the internet that suggested that your brother is fomenting trouble at Otinibi over some, some land issues and that uh, you afforded him soldiers to go there and he's breaking down people's properties. Are you guilty as charged? No, well, not guilty. I, I think. Um, it's one uh, piece of unfortunate uh, news, but uh, the gentleman uh, Ohinaba Buama mm -hmm. Benny, mm -hmm. who did a, a video recording and made those uh, very serious allegations, mm -hmm. I think it's unfortunate, and I'll, I'll call on him to uh, do the right thing by mm -hmm. retracting those allegations. Do you know him? I don't know the gentleman who did the video. I don't have a brother by that named Daniel Markin. I don't have a brother by that name. I don't have uh, a brother who is engaged in that. I don't know Otinibi. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that it would be proper to use soldiers mm -hmm. to do such a thing. And my, my, the, the sad part of it is that he uses my name mm -hmm. to link government okay. and suggest that uh, government, my, my being in government mm -hmm. is affording the so-called brother, the opportunity to use uh, brute force mm. to, 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 as it were, uh, terrorize residents. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 Mr. Oyinaba Buama Benye, I know nothing about it. Mm. And the energy with which he made those allegations that he has done his research and I am the brother, it's unfortunate. I'll give him the opportunity to, to retract. He said he has done his research. Yeah, that's and what he said. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the way he said it with all the confidence, 
And unfortunately, so, so every JF is is some <laughs> JF's brother. And then sure. you know, Ghana Web has also placed it there you know, on the, at this website, and mm. everybody's reading. It's unfortunate. It's one of those things. So we, 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 take, we, take we take him like on that. then. Uh, well, I, I expect uh, viewers and he himself to 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 do you know mm. viewers would draw his attention, and he himself, I'm sure, would uh, take steps okay. to correct the unfortunate. Uh, mess he has created in the media. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, you can join us. 020 That's our WhatsApp line. 020 Now, the ruling NPP has stated categorically that it is not training any militia to disrupt the 2020 general election, thereby accusing former President John Mahama of peddling falsehood. The former president, who is the opposition NDC candidate for the 2020 presidential election, while addressing executives of the Ghana Journalists Association in Accra last week, accused the ruling MPP of training its members in combat techniques to foment trouble. We understand that there's, uh, there's some training that's happening at the Sutraya, according to John Mahama. Yesterday, I saw some photos of uh, some individuals in royal blue uh, overalls, uh, looking very tired, obviously, from the fatigue of uh, some training, maybe. Uh, but Sami, this is what the MPP says. He said, look, your candidate is peddling falsehood. There is nothing like that. And you should not be causing fear and panic. Why are you, why are you causing fear and panic, shall I ask? Thank you, Johnny. Um, first of all, let me say a very good morning to our cherished viewers across the globe. Mm -hmm. And um, on behalf of our flag bearer, His Excellency John Vermani Mahama, mm -hmm. and the National Democratic Congress as a corporate body, mm -hmm. Uh, I want to congratulate you oh, for winning <laughs> the morning show Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, host personality Thank you. Uh, of the year uh, at the just ended RTP Thank awards. You. Thank you. And also congratulate all nominees mm. and winners. Uh, we are proud of you mm. and we celebrate you for the good job you're doing for Madagana. Right. Uh, as a political party, we will continue to work with you and deepen our collaboration with you as a fourth estate of the realm mm. uh, in order to move Ghana uh, forward. So congratulations. Is, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> well, are you expecting? <laughs> Unfortunately, we would have uh, mm. wished to do something uh, beyond this, mm. but you know the economy is very tough. Yo, Things are blame very it on hard. the economy. Uh, so See, Alex uh, is we, we, are, we are handicapped. Alex is looking uh, at but you. But on, on the subject you have tabled for discussion, a very important subject, you see, the last time I was here, Johnny, I told you that our brothers in the MPP are very dishonest and deceitful. Really? It's as though they have the seeds of deception in their blood and in their DNA mm -hmm. that they cannot say the truth. You know, either than that, why will our senior brother, Yabu Abiyan Samoa, and the MPP mm -hmm. seek to deny the obvious fact that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama asserted last week? Mm. Uh, in his meeting with the Ghana Journalist Association. Mm. Because before God and man, Johnny, what His Excellency President Mahama said mm -hmm. to the effect that President Ekufuado and the MPP mm. are recruiting and training their thugs and hoodlums at Asochuare for purposes of causing mayhem during the 2020 upcoming general elections mm -hmm. is 100% factual. And nobody can dispute that. Where are the facts? You see, even before I adduce mm -hmm. indisputable, incontrovertible evidence to substantiate that, mm -hmm. it is important that we understand mm -hmm. that Ghana is the only country we have. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so the peace, stability, and security of this country must be important to every well-meaning mm -hmm. and every peace-loving Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. And we must stop those who are determined to conduct themselves in a way that undermine our security services and that can undermine the sanctity of the 2020 electoral process and plunge this country into chaos. And that is why, for me, this issue, mm -hmm. which has been raised by our flag bearer, President Mahama, must be addressed with all the seriousness it deserves. The MPP says you are firing Number blocks. one, the reason why it is true that indeed the MPP is training the attacks mm -hmm. at Asochuare for purposes of providing security during the 2020 elections. Mm -hmm. The reason why that is truthful and factual is that on the 28th of January, mm -hmm. 
2019, that is this year. Right. Uh, we uncovered a letter signed by the Upper West Regional Security Liaison Officer mm -hmm. to all yes. MPP constituency chairmen mm -hmm. in the Upper West Region. Johnny, I'm sure you have seen that. Mm -hmm. And question. as a matter of fact, when that letter came, the content of the letter was simple. It was instructing various constituency chairmen of the MPP in the Upper West Region mm -hmm. to recruit able-bodied MPP activists mm -hmm to be taken through security, arm combat training, and so on. You understand? As election officers, that's what? No, not as election officers. The letter said that they were training them to protect the ballot box on election okay. day. Okay. When this letter came up, government wasn't able to speak to it. Nobody was able to dispute it. Uh, an independent media organization, reputable media organization, like the multimedia group, decided to launch their own investigations into the matter. And I hold in my hands their report, the report of Joy News okay. on the matter. The title of that story is Joy News on Covers Plan mm -hmm. to Train MPP Party Activists for Election 2020. You read the story, it says that Joy News has uncovered a plan by Upper West Regional Coordinating Council mm -hmm. and its Regional Security Liaison Officer to recruit and train activists of the New Patriotic Party for the 2020 elections. Mm -hmm. And you would be surprised that when uh, officials of Joy News called the said security liaison officer, you know, pretending as though they were MPP constituency chairman. Okay. He gave them all the information. He said, oh, bring to me people who are bold, who people are cut for this job, and all the muscular men, and so on. And everything is contained in that investigation. What, what is piece. that? What, what, what were they going to be used for? They are those who are no, recruited. No, but if you, if you recruit party thugs, mm -hmm. civilians, who do not belong to our security services. You take them to our sanctuary with taxpayers' money, and you train them in armed combat and so on for two, three weeks. What are you trying to do? You are trying to foment trouble. What you is, are trying to undermine happening? our security services. Mm. Now, Johnny, I'm coming. Then, apart from that, mm. the testimony of double, right. the so-called national so security West operative, West. who together with others, meted out brutalities mm -hmm. on innocent civilians during the hours West were gone by election. Mm -hmm. His own testimony is on record. He's on record to have stated that he was a phone seller mm -hmm. and a polling station executive of the MPP. But after the MPP won the elections, he was recruited, sent mm -hmm. to a given two weeks training in weapon handling, uh, armed combat, mm -hmm. and so on, and integrated into the national security uh, apparatus of the country. He was deployed to Ayawaso West were gone. Mm. He claimed that he was not armed, but he managed to take the assault rifle and the AK-47 of a uniformed police officer. Mm. And together with his colleagues, the so-called hooded Azugu Max, you know, national security operatives, we saw the brutalities they meted out on innocent civilians. So what President Mahama is saying mm. is reinforced by Double's own account, his own mm. testimony about how some of them were recruited as party activists of the, of the New Patriotic Party, trained and integrated into the Are national security apparatus. Are you getting us scared? Is President Mahama getting us scared? My brother, haven't you seen the pictures yourself? Haven't you, haven't you watched, when you watch the Ayawas of West Wagon videos, mm -hmm. how do you feel as a Ghanaian? Do you know that because of the violence, the state-sponsored violence, mm -hmm. which was perpetrated against innocent civilians, there is a gentleman who cannot walk today. People have been maimed. For, for life, and they are going to live with those fatalities for life. So the MPP's denial of, of all of this uh, authored by Yabu Abu It is not about what Yabu Abu And the fact says. that your candidate it, it likes to play with the law, but he doesn't respect the you law. You see, that is what should even make you even more worried. Mm. Because that, that posturing of the MPP should tell you that they are not ready to amend their ways. They are not ready to repent from their evil ways. Mm. You see, when somebody is engaged in an evil agenda which can undermine the foundations of our democracy, mm. and when if confronted with evidence, they still come out boldly with a straight face mm. to deny, it should tell you that these are people who have, who have evil in their heart. They are not ready to change. You say that the National, brother, the National Peace Council we have seen the put, put both the NDC and the MPP in a room to talk about vigilantism. Is and, this about and, vigilantism? And John, Ma, John Muhammad didn't step there. Please, is this about what President Akufuado did? Is it about what somebody sees or not? We are talking about the actions of people here. Mm, you saw what me. happened during the hours of West Wogan by elections. And I dare say that the MPP is planning to unleash a worse form of state-sponsored violence on the people of this country. 
especially supporters of the National Democratic Congress, come 2020. What should we and do? Ayawaso what should we is do? there as an example. Johnny, what should we do? Number one, I have given you, I have given you, I have given you incontrovertible evidence. The letter of the Upper West Regional Security Legion Officer is there. Mm. Double's own testimony is there. Right. You understand? So the denial uh, of uh, Yabo Abiyan Samwa will not wash. Mm. Ghanaians know too well of these plans of this we've seen the pictures we've seen the videos mm -hmm. we know the gentlemen in the pictures these are mpp uh, uh, i mean uh, facts mm -hmm. from nima asawasi and so on for me for me what is even more worrying wrap is, up, wrap up for me. is the whitewashing mm -hmm. of those who perpetrated the ayahuasca west were gone violence against innocent citizens by president Ekufuado in his white paper virtually legitimizing and endorsing their acts of criminal assault and all the crimes they perpetrated against okay. innocent citizens. Thank so you. like I told you, mm -hmm. Ghana is all we have. Mm -hmm. We can decide to play the ostrich and pretend as if we are not aware mm -hmm. of what is going on. I know that my senior brother, Afenyo, will not be happy mm -hmm. with some of these things. Boot, I know people boot, boot for in the new patriotic party yeah, yeah, who will yeah, not Bobby be happy says your, with your candidate says in boot, case, boot Johnny, for boot. President Ekufuado mm. is the commander in chief of the Ghana Army. But and your I'm, candidate, I'm, I'm says, up. Your candidate says boot for boot. Don't, don't, don't subject this issue no, no, no. to I, the usual I, NDC. I'm very I am, serious. I am collecting. No, 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 I am collecting. Ignore what dishonest Yabu Abiyan Samoa is saying. That's I have given that's you unfair to call him dishonest. He's dishonest because I have proven to you that what he's saying is contrary to the facts. I've shown you the letter of the Upper West Regional Security uh, Liaison Officer, which has been confirmed by John Hughes' okay. own investigation. Thank now, you. I am President right Kufuado is the Commander in Chief. Yeah. He is the Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. He controls the police, he controls the military, he controls all our security agencies. He knows, as a lawyer and as an astute politician, that the security agency which is in charge of our elections is and is supposed to be the Ghana police service. Okay, thank you. I don't know why thank you. President Okufuado thank cannot you. No, trust you, you, the police you, service, you, the military, you the and someone wants to train his 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 goons mm. and tax. Thank you. You know, thank you. to you're, come you're, and disrupt you're, 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 you're the 2020 you're election. Process. I, mean, thank I don't you know why they are doing thank that. You. And I think that we must all speak up against thank that. Thank you. Alex, uh, like, take a bite on this. Are you really training uh, hoodlums and thugs as the NDC is suggesting, led by John Mahama and... If you are, why are you doing that? Don't you trust the security setup? Well, Johnny, um, let me do a sankofa mm. by congratulating you. Thank uh, you. And your team. Thank you. Um, you had it last year and you've, you've made it again. Right. So congrats. Thank you. I mean, nobody doubts your, your energy levels Thank you. when it comes to Thank you. The, the work you do. Thank you. So keep it up. Thank you. Uh, you, you put appropriate questions and <laughs> drill us to, to think. Um, yes, you see... Is that all? <laughs> we are... <laughs> you didn't know in so you must do, you must do something. You know, so I'm, I'm asking the same question. Is that do something? You know, so. He's the board chairman of the Ghana Water Company. Yeah, he's, he's a big man. He's a big man. He's, a, he's our friend in power. Mm. Yeah. Very well. Sorry. Very well. Let, let's make progress. I've heard you. Let's make progress. So I asked, I asked so, two questions. So let me, let, me, let me take my bite on this matter. You see, first of all, in opposition, mm -hmm. Nana Akufuado mm -hmm. promised two major interventions mm -hmm. to help grow this economy and to create opportunities for Ghanaian youth. One was the free SHS, mm -hmm. and two was the entrepreneurship policy drive, which he called it One District, One Factory. Mm -hmm. The grace of God made it possible for him to become president. Mm -hmm in 2017, he immediately ruled these policies out. Mm -hmm. As we speak, in spite of all the challenges, all the question marks, free SHS has come to stay. Relevance to this subject? Let me make my point. Mm -hmm. Two, the issue of double track, mm -hmm. which was aimed at addressing the congestion and the fact that by the introduction of the free SHS, mm. the enrollment numbers had increased, mm -hmm. also came into being. And at least parents no more complain about 
students not getting dormitories, not getting um, classrooms, mm. and people sleeping outside and all that. So in spite of all those challenges, that has been solved. Mm. What does John Mahama, His Excellency, mm. say to this? He doesn't commend government. Mm. He doesn't, you know, say that, look, in opposition, I question this matter. In government, I again question Nanado's ability. Mm. Uh, please, what are we allow, discussing? Allow, allow, allow. He's, he's building his point. But he now says that, oh, I am going to review. He doesn't set out to tell us in specific terms mm. what he's going to do by the so-called review. Relevance to the subject. Can I make my point with respect? Meanwhile, Nanadu in opposition mm. was bold to tell BBC what he understands by free SHS and how he was going to roll it out. Okay. And he's a done exactly that. So now, let me subject the point, the issues Mr. Mahama raised mm -hmm. to some credibility test. Okay. Here is a man who, out of desperation, mm -hmm. he is unable to even see the successes in the implementation of free SHS. Mm -hmm. Now he moves to the next stage to press the alarm bell that, oh, you know, there is something untoward. Ghanaians, watch it. Mm -hmm. Listen here, and let's face the facts. NDC had eight years in office. NDC. President Mahama was not an independent candidate. Okay. In that eight-year, you know, period. Uh, period, he had a blessed opportunity to serve as vice president. Well, for some unknown reasons, only God knows, mm -hmm. the sudden exit of President Mills, mm -hmm. by constitutional custom, mm -hmm. he became the president. president right. So he had the opportunity again. Mm -hmm. Well, people have been saying that, ah, I mean, strangely, mm -hmm. if you take President Mahama as a running mate, you know, you will die. If he takes you as running mate, you will die. So people are even scared. No, Tony, I'm saying strangely, Allah, strangly. Allah, Allah, Allah. I kept quiet for you. Allah, Allah. I deliberately Allah, kept quiet for you. Allah, you see, you want to be disrupted. No, 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 no. Yes. Allah, Allah. So, but, but let, no, let's, I'm, I'm coming. Let's not be dragged. I'm saying strangely, strangely. That's what people, people think. People are saying. What do you say? No, well, I, I am unable to say that, but I'm trying to say that. But what strangely, do you, what do you say? Well, what I'm saying is that. Do you believe what they say? Let me make my point. Yeah, no, I'm asking you to. When make I finish, mm. you will know whether I believe it. Okay. But the fact is that when those who, I mean, when President Mahama, when uh, when President Mahama became the running mate mm. and eventual vice president, the president of the republic died. True or false? Mm. The man who who nominated him, mm. he died. Mm. The one he chose as his running mate, who became vice president, mm. is also dead. So I'm saying that as a matter of fact, though it's a coincidence, mm. people are raising issues. And it's, it's been become difficult for who, who to choose as running mate. Because people are scared Re to become to, running relevance to this subject. The point mm. is, the point is, let us concentrate on real issues. Are you training no, no, people no. at this situation? I am saying that the NDC has had eight years. Are you training people at a The NDC knows mm. that this government is in its third year. The NDC knows mm. that the very promises mm. we made in our manifesto, mm. we are on course and it, in its implementation. Are you training people at a security? Out of desperation. Mm. They now want to be creating, you know, some kind of uh, tension here and there, mm. creating the impression that, oh, if NPP wins, mm. it would mean that they did something on toward. Are, you, are you training with, people with the greatest that? respect? Answer, answer, answer my simple question. With the question. greatest respect. Are you training people? Then I have security? answered you by telling you that out of desperation, mm. they are refusing to even associate themselves with the success story in the implementation of the free SHS. Okay. Out of desperation, they are refusing. Do you to, do you to, do you to, deny do they you are, deny they are do you deny the they, letter they are, by the Upper West uh, security liaison of your party? Out of desperation. Dated earlier January this year. Do you deny that? Out of desperation, they are refusing mm -hmm. 
to even admit that the one district one factory mm -hmm. is a bold initiative mm -hmm. that would create the space in the private sector mm -hmm. for Ghanaian youth because you see Th there's a letter I'm, I'm as we to speak, speak to. as we speak there's a letter many many, 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 many youth who Afenyo, graduate Afenyo, Afenyo, hold on for me. are seeking Afenyo, for public sector Afenyo, placement Afenyo, hold on for me. and by the introduction Afenyo, of this Afenyo, one district on, one hold factory on hold on for opportunities me. are being created Afenyo, hold on for me. now they bring in this issue of a letter listen now I want to address it but need I need to lay a foundation oh, to discredit it. No. Okay. You see, he is a lawyer. He knows okay. that when somebody says something, mm. you first of all subject whatever he has said to credibility tests. Right. I am trying to tell you. Which you have done. I'm trying to tell you that mm. it is a matter of political convenience okay. to create an impression that your opponent is bad. Okay. Especially, especially where you have no alternative. Speak to the letter. What letter? The letter by the Upper West With all due uh, respect, liaison. I would only speak to a letter mm. if my good friend is able to produce mm. a letter, that letter he's referring to here. Read same verbatim but, for us to discuss. But, but this, Not, le this letter has been public. Uh, no, public what is the where is the letter? Read it and let's discuss it. Apart from that, okay. let me focus on the success story of this government. Uh -huh. Why? Should I allow, should I allow a desperate opposition that has had eight years, dissatisfied with all the eight years, mm -hmm. still thinks that it is the only party that must rule, therefore create confusion. When, for the record, mm. this government has made bold... Do, do you not think that Ghanaians will be uh, worried that instead of responding you to see? my questions... You are telling me what the government has been able to do in respect to education, industrialization, and all of that. Ghanaians want to know, one, are you, are you training people? Two, is there any truth to what Mr. Mahama said? Three, should we be worried about election security come 2020? Four, will we allow, for example, the police to deal with uh, security issues? And five, when Sami JV talks that your government has endorsed and entrenched uh, violence, Especially, I also West Wagon and others. So please respond to these questions for me quickly. Simply you, you, you're, you have spent seven minutes of your time. You have three minutes more. Please right. spend ten minutes. No, no, he spent seven minutes. Why are you Sammy, I'm, I'm watching my clock. I beg you, equal time for all of you. Yes, counsel, make progress. In my earlier submission, I made it clear that the NDC is on a mission to divert attention. Mm. And same applies to what they have just raised. You see, they heard of the announcement that the government has secured funds mm. to pay road contractors. Mm. The major headache of contractors in this country had been payment. Okay. As a result of that, they need to chip in something. Okay. All right? So they bring this one in mm. just to divert attention. I would not make it a subject matter of a discussion because I know the intent mm. to create this affection. And I'm telling you that from 92, they had eight years. They have had eight years again, 16 years. Mm. MPP had eight years, and this is the third opportunity. Okay. I'm telling you that for the records, the NDC cannot boast of a social intervention program they initiated and implemented successfully. We have. Mm. What is left for them is to play to the gallery. Because okay. when it comes to issues, have you been able to do this? You couldn't do it. Were you able to initiate? Were you able to successfully implement? Mm. They have none. So you say Mr. So Mahama, Mr. To Mahama do, is tossing in just anything at this point. Much ado my, about my, nothing. Is my that brother, it? Without, without outing more, mm. you have gotten it squarely. And again, I'm telling you, when they get out, ask the NDC, what is really your message, mm. your message of development for this country? Okay. What is really your message? Mm. If Sami would want us to debate on issues, I am ready for him. Is this, but is this merely, not a key issue? Is this not would, a key issue? What is the issue? The issue to make about, about, about security. No, no, bear in mind. Wait, wait, wait. Let's 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 R wrap up let, for let's, me on that one. let's let's be more 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 mature okay. in the way you want to look at issues. Ah, in opposition, mm. when you had the government 
security. Mm -hmm. The man defeated you with a margin of one million, one million votes, mm -hmm. unprecedented. Why would you? Why would you get up and think that this time he can only anchor his success on Reagan? Why would you think that? It is. It is. It is unreasonable okay. for you to go to that extent mm. because the man, the MPP, mm. was able to win okay. in opposition okay. in excess of one million. So there's no cause for alarm. So That's what you're saying. What is all thank, these? Thank you. What, thank you. What is all uh, these your, about? Your time, your time is Johnny, up. Thank Johnny. you very much. Maybe I give one minute each no, no, for more no, Johnny, no, 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 Johnny, Sammy, please. We need to move. I am very, very, very disappointed. Oh, in me because because this is the first time I am seeing something like this happen on this show. In me, or, see, when we come on this program, mm. this is a very serious platform. Mm. Um, we give you the moderators all the respect you deserve because this is your platform. What have I, you decide what, what, have I what we should discuss. What have I done wrong? For more than 10 minutes, you've watched Afenio Markin introduce extraneous matters which have no bearing whatsoever with the topic for discussion. Did you not hear me ask about relevance so many but, times? But you see, well, let me leave it there. I can't blame you. When, when you're dealing with a government which is totally clueless, government which, which, which is totally inept, mm -hmm. they don't have any clue about the real genuine issues that Ghanaians are interested mm. in, they will always come to the studio he, with their own distortions he says, he says, and with their own issues. He says issues. your flag bearer is shouting hold about on, nothing. Hold on. He says that this issue is a non-issue. Right. So why would their communications director, his boss, Yabu Abiyan Samoa, issue a statement on an irrelevant matter? Hasn't he read the MPP's own statement mm. in response to what John Dramani Mahama said? So if the matter is as useless as Honorable Afenio Markin claims, why did they, why have they issued a statement on it? You have issued a statement denying the assertion of John Dramani Mahama. You are on TV3 New Day, an award-winning program. You have been asked to substantiate your statement, and you can't speak to it. It is such an embarrassment. My brother, he says that um, I, we, 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 President Mahama is not seeing any good in the free SHS being implemented by them. Who told them President Akufuado was the one who commenced the implementation of free SHS? Who told him that? It's Mr. Mama Pupu in the government. Hasn't he read the City FM online publication dated somewhere November 2015, mm -hmm. in which the then candidate of the New Patriotic Party, candidate Akufuado, commended John Dramani Mahama for introducing free SHS? Doesn't Afanyo Makin know that for the 2015-2016 academic year, all their students totaling about 365,000 mm. were given free SHS in this country? Doesn't he know? Who told him that President Mahama says he will cancel free SHS? You see, that is who they are. Is they that, cannot be honest. Your, your candidate they are so is shouting deceitful, about they are so nothing. Deceptive. Your My candidate brother, is shouting to me. about nothing. What Which President Mahama and the NDC is saying is simple. We are saying that we will continue the implementation and improve mm. on the haphazardly implemented free SHS policy of President Ekufuado. We will do so by abolishing double track. We will do so by streamlining the placement of SHS students so that we avert that, you know, despicable scene we mm. saw at the Independence Square not too long ago. He says on the we issue of security, that your candidate is shouting about He has nothing. not spoken about security here, so allow well, me to has, deal with he him. Has, he, has, he has. What is he talking about? He says about? that, well, I, when I asked him, I asked him five questions, you heard me, and he says that you are screaming about so, nothing. So, so what about Ayawa? So, so he, can't he says that President, Maham, President Okufu Ado won the 2016 general elections by one million votes. Right. So, we, you know, so, so he will not do anything to undermine the process. Right. So what about Ayawa? So where's Wogo? Has he read the short commission report? What about the false intel that they use as basis for all the atrocities and brutalities? If, if those people who had been brutalized were his family relatives or his friends, will he be talking like this? We have a classical example to buttress the fact that President Ekufuado is a promoter and enabler of political violence. We have seen the pictures. You are training your tax to cause mayhem in this country. You cannot speak to it. We have shown you in control. He says I should read to him. The letter by the Upper West Regional Security right. Region of mm. before he speaks. Right. Well, this is the letter I spoke of. Dated 28th January 2019. Okay. Published by my journal online. Okay. It says, MPP Constituency Chairman, Upper West Region. DSA, Selection and Submission of Election 2020 Security mm. Team Members for Training. He says, grateful you submit a list of suitable security-oriented party members for training 
as election security team to closely monitor the 2020 election, starting from the reopening of the voters' register through mm. to the actual elections and mm. up to the declaration of results. And it goes on and on and on. So if you haven't seen the letter, I'm showing you the letter. I've, 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 what President, hold on, okay. let me just conclude. Up, what President Mama said is 100% factual. If you have no evidence to buttress your so-called denier mm. or to dispute his claim, show some remorse. Be honest and admit that you are doing things which can undermine the peace, stability, and security of this country. Mm -hmm. And stop that. President Rollins, President Ekufuado, and President Kufuor, President Mills, President John Mahama, who have all been presidents in this fourth republic, have contributed their part. They all delivered to President Ekufuado one strong, peaceful, stable country. And posterity will judge you okay. very badly if you plant this country into chaos through these reckless acts. Thank you. But you see... Thank you. No, 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 no let, me, let me... Please, 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 hold on. Please. Allow him, allow him please, to have a bite. Please, I beg you. You, you, allow you, have, you have submitted a letter. Please, so hold on. I want him to have No, a, he will do that. So you show him the letter. The man will not speak to him, show, no matter the opportunity show, you give show him. Show Mr. Afeo, please, please, hold on, the letter. hold on, hold on. So, number one... Show him the letter. Why you talk so that he can... Um, Give him I, the letter. Am I, am, I, am I supposed to supply him with information? He says, he says provide This is letter. a matter of public record. Please, but please, Johnny, no, give him Johnny, so he can read it. Me, please. I am not. I am saying that you want the position of President Mahama on free SHSS is clear. He says he will improve on it. What is wrong with that? He says he will abolish double track. To remove that financial burden on parents now, parents who have to pay for 500 Ghana mm -hmm. cities every month as extra classes fee for their wards who are not staying home for three months and so mm -hmm. on. He says he will streamline the placement of uh, JHS graduates. He says that he will improve on the quality mm. of free SHS because okay. free SHS is good, Thank you. but quality free SHS Thank is you. better. You. And more important than finally, how he many, says that the NDC has not introduced any social intervention policy. I mean, the MPP, eh? I don't know whether they have their own theories, they have their okay. own dictionary Thank and you. so on. What is your understanding of a social intervention? Thank you. Mr. Thank, you. thank you very much. A Sam social Sam intervention. No, Johnny, don't Sam say thank you. Sam thank when you. he was speaking, Sam you. you couldn't even ask him questions. Sam oh, Sam he was trying to bully you. Don't say that. You asked him a question, he said, Sam allow me. Sam and then you keep no, that, you what, keep that's his time. Please, your time me. is up. No, no, no I will no, do this in 30 seconds. I beg you, your time is up. I am telling, because people are learning. I beg you. Children are watching us. A social intervention is any intervention by a government in the social affairs your mic is off. If a government builds roads, builds hospitals, check compounds, Sami JV, Sami JV, Sami JV. Those are social intervention programs. Sammy you can't have a city and say we have not Sammy initiated a social intervention program. Thank what you. What is your understanding of Thank a social you. intervention program? Afeja Maki, I like your composure. Thank you very much. This is now, the letter. Let him speak to it. But you have not given him the letter. I asked you to give it to him before oh, okay. you went no on. Problem. You said I'll, no. You, I'll, 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 I'll be generous. Okay. This is the letter. Afeja, this is the letter that uh, Sami speaks about. It's, it's been on the internet. Uh, my uh, it's been on the internet for some time now. You, you, you would want to speak with it, to it. And this is what John Mahama alluded allow, to. Allow, allow, please. Allow me to do my work. Without any interpretation, this letter does not suggest any criminality. If within a party system, mm. elections, he knows, and I know, that we train polling station executives, mm. People who canvass, we train them. Mm. He knows, and I know. We state fans. Please. La nowhere, mm. nowhere has there been state fans being. The, the this this, 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 this liaison. Please, state officer. Please. Allow me. This, this liaison. Please. Can I? Can I? This liaison I, works. I, I, in unless, unless I can. And you train. Since we're the JV training police station. Sabi JV uh, 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 police please, police 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 at Asochuare. Please. So you, do you train your police agents? Right, can you put Sami's microphone off, please? Thank you. With arms. Sami, I mean, all things aside, I'm your senior. No, no, no. no, we are not at the bar. No, no, I'm your senior. You are dodging the issues. I am Some your senior at the bar. Some of you are, are disrupting. Some of you are disrupting. So stop distracting. Where, where is a situation mentioned here? You are trying to dodge. Okay. Where is a situation mentioned here? Conjectures, conjectures and speculations cannot become facts. Please. He knows, as a lawyer, it's difficult to pass a bar exam. He has passed. So he knows the principles. You cannot say a sutuary when there is no sutuary. Please. Let's get straight. Okay. Nanado does not need rigging to win the next elections. You have lost one million votes. You've lost one million votes. You've been in office for eight years. Mm -hmm. President Mahama was not an independent candidate. 
He had the NDC manifesto backing him. Mm. Ghanaians chose the MPP manifesto over them. Let us deal with the red issues. I will not allow NDC diversionary tactics to take me off the real issues. Mm. What are the real issues? Ghanaians need to be educated. The man has been bold on it. Mm. Ghanaians need private sector opportunities. Mm. The man has been bold on it. <laughs> what else? Can we do that? We if cannot we are, have if a perfect. We, are safe? we we can <laughs> we cannot have a perfect situation. Can we do people. that if we are unsafe? Let me tell you, mm. Ghana is safe. So it is our collective duty. It is our collective so duty to work together. The fact that Sami comes here freely, mm. the fact that I come here freely. The fact that we understand mm. that beyond this debate, you see, he's humorous. In spite of all his aggression, in spite of all my aggression, I appreciate where he's coming from. He mm. appreciates what I'm coming from. Where you, I'm coming you, from. You don't appreciate that, where I'm coming from. No Allah, problem. Allah, if you think Allah, about the security uh, of Ghana, Sa you are not. Sa Sami, it's okay. Sami, hold on. And you think it is okay. No, 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 no
it is not us, but it is somebody. Mm. So I think that is the worrying part of it. If you yeah. go, if you go and buy from a supermarket, for example, and you get an itemized bill, no, you know I, how much you're paying for VAT I ag for any. No, no, no. I agree. I'm saying that. that. Why should I'm, it we know? I am. I have not said. We need to know. We all use phones, don't right. we? Right. We need. Sami, no, 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 make I progress. Mean, this make morning, progress. This morning, Alex, why? make progress. Oh, what have I said? There's very limited time, so no. We're this morning, why? No, no. Let's make progress. So I'm, I ask a question about itemized. A bill that you would get any child that it would it would show all right and that's what so the telcos are showing what 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 that for every 10 cds would take 70 percent and we'll show the, you that the, you have the the, the nice point the point be made is that let us go in accord with plan is it the first time this stock tax is being introduced or has it just been introduced or it's been there this is how the telcos want to show that what i'm saying that no, let's get it. You want issues to be right, discussed. Right. I am also asking you, is it a new tax mm. or it is already in existence? Well, you have stated it. Of course, mm. it's been there for over 10 years. Mm. It's nothing new. And we all know. And if Sami, by God's grace, as President Rowling said, they are aiming at 2024. If by 2024 they get the opportunity, can he tell us that they intend to uh, abolish this tax regime that they came to meet are and they, they continue? Are the telcos working against you? Johnny, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that what he wants to tell Ghanaians? Okay. Sami, stepping for me. Uh, the minister says uh, the telcos uh, should, should change the way they are this showing that. I don't envy Afenio Makin at all. Because oh, I, I don't see how he's you. struggling to defend you know, the indefensible. Is he struggling? You see, this issue, mm -hmm. Johnny, brings to the fore two things. Which are? The dishonesty of President Ekufuado and the insensitivity yes. of President Ekufuado. Because really, we are having this discussion mm. because of the 50% increment in the communication service tax right. by President Ekufuado, two of us. Mm. We are having this discussion because a president who promised not to tax the Guinean, mm. a president who promised to move Ghana from taxation to production, mm -hmm. <laughs> has turned around and stabbed the people in the back, betrayed their trust mm -hmm. by, by increasing communication service tax, which is a consumer tax, by a whopping 50%. How do you produce if you that don't for have me, money? That for me is deceitful. It is mm -hmm. dishonest. Mm -hmm. Because you promise one thing, okay. and now that you have been given the opportunity, you are doing the very opposite. Number two, it underscores their insensitivity. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, that Ghanaians are really Johnny, under excruciating hardship. Encourage At the time that utility messages. tariffs, water, partisan text what, messages, water bills, they will get their party people to be signing text brother, messages please. and to be read. We're not please. going to allow I, I, that. I, I, when, when, I expect when, that discussion will be exercised when, 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 when we see those partisan when he, when he so when when he, when he, on the campaign. When he started, uh, I told him to keep quiet for you. No, no, this one is to say, last... So last allow, allow him to make his point. There was a similar okay. experience where you see, partisan okay. messages were being read. Allow him to make his statement. I'm just making Johnny, Allow him to make his statement. Johnny, yeah. yes. So the point here, the point I'm making here is that at a time where Ghanaians, when Ghanaians are struggling mm. to pay for fuel, because the price of fuel has gone up okay. by, 20, by a whopping 50% in only two and a half years, this insensitive government has increased the price of fuel by 50 percent. They have increased water bills, our electricity ah, bills. But you said that they you have could not a raft be of taxes by increasing so when you can, what would you do? by five percent mm. through the back door. And when you can, bill. what would you do? At the time, the exchange rate continues to worsen. At the time, the city continues to depreciate. Okay. At the time, businesses continue to collapse. Mm. People continue to lose their jobs and all that. Okay. It is insensitive. Mm. For any government to intro, to increase communication service tax, which is a consumer tax, has it meaning been, that the are the people who pay, has it been increased? It has been increased. You don't by know what percent? Fifty oh, percent, or oh, six percent to nine oh, percent. Jesus Christ! You okay. don't know that. Oh, so Sammy, listen to me. Yes. Sammy, that is why we are having this discussion. Yeah. The ah. directive to the telecos is neither here nor there. What's wrong with it? Because whether they deduct mm -hmm. at the point of purchase or after we use it, the the, the, the airtime we buy. Whether they make the deductions known to us mm. or they conceal it from us, 
The fact still remains that, Johnny, today, if you buy airtime, 10 Ghana cities airtime, you will get 9 cities, 30 pesos. If you buy 30 Ghana cities mm. and airtime, you will lose 2 cities, mm. 10 pesos. Because for every 10 Ghana cities airtime you mm. buy, 70 pesos is deducted as communication service tax because of this wicked, insensitive uh, coup for the government. Okay. That, is, that is the issue at stake. So if you don't want them to notify Ghanaians of mm. these deductions, mm. the basic thing for you to do is that scrap this obnoxious, this nuisance tax increment. Mm. That is not what you promised us. Thank you. You are worsening you. already bad Thank economic you. situation Thank you in very the country. Much. And I am very... Can, can, uh, you, uh, can uh, you develop if you uh, don't have uh, money from taxes? Can you develop? But you, they have had access to 210 billion since they were elected. They have increased our public debt by a whopping 85 billion. The tax revenue they have gotten alone is 113 billion. Okay, thank they you. have gotten all your revenue than any other okay. government in the history of Ghana, 12.6 billion. Thank you. What Jeffy. have they used all that money for? Sammy they have Jeffy. nothing to show for. Thank you. They are not building hospitals. They are not building schools. Like they are not building roads. They are well, not building airports. Sammy, what do they you. use the money for? Sammy, drink water. And because uh, he has blackmailed uh, you, you are not reading your text messages. No, no, I don't know. Because he has attacked <laughs> your viewers. You see, I don't understand this. Because I, he saw I a text message on the screen attacking him. I don't know what you are talking about. Bring your party. Alexander Kwamina Afejo Mwakeng is the member of parliament. For the Ifutu constituency in the central region. Alex, today. thank you very much for and coming. And Sami Jemfi is the uh, national communications officer of the I NDC. The He's also been my guest. Happy birthday to uh, Mr. Peter Akwe of St. Joseph the Work Anglican Church, formerly of VRA. We call you Chairman General. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. And also to you, Nanakwe Jo Ado. Here at TV3 and Media General. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Congrats, we'll take Johnny. a break. And, uh, Congrats because you didn't. No, well, Johnny. Johnny, well, you come no, Sammy, 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 thank you. We'll see you after the this, break. This, this, this.